My name is Melissa. I identify as she or her. I have both college and university education um, with a social work background, including a graduate degree. And I did all of this education through different communities and different schools. So I've got a few different experiences there. And I now work for the Center for Independent Living in Toronto with the direct funding program. Well, I think growing up with a disability, I always knew that school was going to be my ticket to freedom to like my own life, basically. I knew I wasn't going to be able to like have my own place or have my own future. It was important to me from that perspective. When I graduated from high school, there was a lot of pressure to pick a school right away and and go to school because that was what everyone in my small town did. You didn't stay home with your parents, right? And so I picked a school that my guidance counselor thought would be a good fit for me, but wasn't a good fit for me. Um, it was outside of the main area of the city, so it was quite isolated. And then the way the school was set up as well was quite isolated. It was it didn't have a very thriving community and it, had a, it was an older school. It had a lot of accessibility barriers and I hadn't, I hadn't done my research. I hadn't, like it looked at it academically and kind of stopped there and, and didn't think about the community that I was going to be living in. I lasted a month <laughs> and it was hard to admit that to myself, but I was, I was struggling academically. I was, I was struggling emotionally and I was just, I reached a point where I just knew it wasn't going to work and, and that was hard to admit. It was really hard because it, it meant also that I was going to have to come home and figure out what I was going to do and, and start over. Um, but it ended up being the best for me rather than pushing myself through that bad experience. I started fresh and, and started on a better path for myself. I think sometimes people focus maybe a bit too much on the academics of a good school and not so much, okay, what comes after school? What comes, what about the rest of the things that make up a full life for someone? Because life's not just school, right? Um, like the fact that I could go out and hang out with my friends and go to, go to an accessible pub and you know, do do things that post-secondary students do was a was a big part of my success, and got me through like the rough parts of classes, and got me engaged with people enough to like set up study groups and be in study groups. And without without those things, I think my academics would have would have suffered. So I think a big part is especially making that choice is it's it's a big choice, and it's and it's not just about Okay, what can this school do for me academically? But am I gonna am I gonna thrive at this school? Is it gonna fit for me? I had decided to start with um, college and then move on to university later. Part of the reason for that was because of some of the struggles that I had in high school. Um, some of my accessibility struggles kind of affected my academics, so I felt. I wasn't sure if university was going to be the right thing for me, so I went with college first, which which was good on a couple of levels um, in terms of the accessibility. As I mentioned before, was it was an easier transition in terms of having my needs met, but it also um, career-wise for me, it gave me more of the skill set, whereas university tends to be more on the academic level. So going into university later, I had like the base skills to build from when I moved on to university later. So it helped me in both ways. Um, also in college, I find there just happens to be more students with disabilities and students that have had other challenges in high school. So I could relate to that um, and build up my confidence in that way. I think for me, like I'm, I made the mistakes and then I learned from them, right? So, but I think the important thing is um, to try new things. Um, for me, I came from an environment where there was still a lot of discrimination against people with disabilities in the small town that I grew up. So it took me a, a while to learn that 
yes, people wanted to hear what I had to say, that friends wanted to hear what I had to say, and that my opinions were, you know, important. And I just, don't be afraid to share things with people. Don't be afraid to, you know, to figure out who you are. Because nobody in that environment has figured out who they are yet. We're all in a process of figuring things out. And you're going to make mistakes. So just accept that at the outset and forgive yourself for that. Because everyone else is too. You just don't see them um, make those mistakes, I think. Um, and yes, figure out who the supportive people around you are. And if you're not somebody that easily connects with other people, at least connect with a couple other people so that you have somebody to sort of help you up through the tough times. Because they're going to have tough times too. Um, I think that goes for anyone in school, whether they have a disability or not. Um, but I think, and I think having a disability too, it gives, it gives them a bit of an advantage over other students who haven't figured out that they're gonna struggle yet. We, we already know that at the outset that something's gonna come up that's not gonna be expected because that's just life.